Today we are visiting the Fireworks Supermarket in Indiana, and they've got 17 other locations. I've never been in one of these places. I have no idea what will happen when I walk inside. Will there be a clown who will scream my name and blow off some fireworks? <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am, do you have any Skippy zippers in stock? Yes. How about monkey pops? Yup. Cop kissers? Right on. What about whippy gold blue? Definitely. Gummy boot lickers? Certainly. Chitty chitty bang bangs? You bet. Leaping lot lizards? You betcha. How about redheaded step bloomers? Definitely. I'll take them all. I've never been in one of these stores. All this stuff is illegal in my state. Lucky I'm not going to my state. Disco ball, $175. What do you get for $175? Let's find out. That was a great display, but being one of the most expensive things in the store, let's use it for the barometer to compare lesser priced fireworks. Let's see what else they have. Ooh, that looks patriotic. The red, bright, and blue, $125. I wonder what this looks like. I guess that repeats 660 times for 125 bucks. Uh, let's move on. And for the record, my first thought was to attach that to my front door and set it ablaze, but that would have proved dangerous. And this would um, kind of resemble what you would see if you went to the city fireworks show. They would not be quite as big, but these are the biggest bursts we have in the uh -huh. Um So this is a nine shot. Um, you light one fuse and all the nine would go off, um, and they're around 200. 200 bucks. How long does this one last? Um, not really that long. So the first six are going to be one at a time, and the last three are going to go off together. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And But that's that particular firework. If I bought that one, they would probably go off in a different pattern, or they all use all the same? All of pretty much, they go off the first six by themselves, and then the last three together. Cool. The loud and rowdy, 60 bucks. Let's see how loud and rowdy. My initial instinct is that this is last year's fireworks, possibly, or older models, because this is just as impressive as the $179 one. I know that one was going 300 meters in the air. I don't have a height for this, but I did see a private video, and it was quite impressive in the private video. Did seem to really get some air. And the Party Like a Patriot is $20 more. I'm going to guess it's the same thing with a little more oomph in it, maybe. All jacked up. Again, the price is very good. This might be called a cake firework. But 79 bucks, 36 shots. I'm actually a little bit more impressed than I am with the first disco ball. Let's take a look. So it seems like maybe if you walk into a fireworks store knowing what you're looking at, you can make $1,000 go a really long way. Now, this might be everybody's favorite aisle, the, the firecracker aisle. And boy, how long has it been since, since I bought a pack of firecrackers off a 25-year-old guy for 25 cents in 1975? 
and I was like six. <laughs> Her matches <laughs> were a nickel. <laughs> and some guy with a with an old style beer <laughs> is selling me firecrackers and giving me matches at six years old. God bless America. <laughs> I was really impressed with the price on these. I just knew I wouldn't get rid of them all before I went back to my home state, and I didn't want to break any laws. So if you uh, wanted to sell fireworks to kids illegally, you would buy one of these 40 packs of 16 firecrackers, and you'd have to sell them for more than 32 cents to break even at twelve ninety five for 40 packs. So that, that old Budweiser drinking 25-year-old was banking on me back in 1975 or 76. Big time. And just for reference, we are at the Fireworks Supermarket, this location in Indiana, but there's over 17 locations, and they've even got those old-time favorite bottle rockets. So after perusing the store for longer than this lady wanted to deal with me, maybe... <laughs> These redneck rockets caught my eye. I think mostly because of the packaging. And the price was right. The cool part was is that the lady had an example of this firework right on the screen uh, above the display. And for any firework in the store, if you wanted to see what it looked like before you bought it, she's got those available. Uh, so what would, I, I would probably want to put this in a, a pipe or something, a tube. Yeah, I usually use but you can, they're bottle rockets, you can use a bottle, but put some weight in it. Right. I could probably use a PVC, yes. pipe too, PVC pipe too, stuck in the ground. Yeah. That's cool. That'll be fun. All right, I'm going to put this down. I know we get this. <laughs> 